Montessori is not a curriculum necessarily, it's a way to think about how to raise children. We look at how children develop, both physically and psychologically, and then we prepare environments that meet the needs of the different ages. What's interesting to know is that Montessori started her school in a ghetto in a fabric district, garment district. And so if you know that, it's also interesting to sort of think about what she first used when she created the materials, right? There's a material called the color tablets, which were spools of thread from the garment district. The stamp game was actually postage stamps, and then that morphed into a beautiful material that we use today. All of the materials, but particularly sensorial materials like the pink tower, brown stairs, red rods, they provide the children with any mental concept that you can put in the physical form so that it's tangible and so the children can have experiences with them. I think a big part is not only that it has a visual aspect that you can see it and you can learn from what you're seeing, but that it's also aesthetically pleasing. That kind of appeals to a more subconscious aspect of the mind of the child. They're working with something and they know it's beautiful. So beauty is important. Craftsmanship is important. Some materials are fairly simple to make, but when you get into the really extensive product that needs to be as high in detail or precise for the children, it takes a long time. The globes are hand painted, the beads are all strung by hand. All of these materials have very specific measurements and specs and colors, and all of these things were chosen through a scientific process. What the child gets out of Montessori is like directly dependent on what we're providing for them. You know, I think every detail is, is important with the materials, how they're made and then how they're presented. You know, Montessori said that this method is to be kind of an aid to life. And I really think that's what we do.